Hello, my crafty friends. It's Tiffany, and I am live in the Crafty Casita. Um, and I am d going this on my own today. So um, hopefully you can see me or you can see the studio, I guess. If you're here, if you can see me, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you can also hear me. That would be awesome because, like I said, I'm doing this on my own today. And I am not a good tech person. So if you can hear me, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And hopefully it looks like everything's plugged in here and ready to go. Oh, nice. All right. Yay. Welcome, everybody. And happy, happy, happy National Scrapbook Day. I am, um, like I said, I'm, I'm going on this on my own today because I just thought this is a perfect day to... Um, a perfect day to talk about not only what's happening at Totally Tiffany um, because of National Scrapbook Day and everything that's what National Scrapbook Day is, but um, but the deals that you're going to get today and what things you should be looking at on the Totally Tiffany website where you're really going to save big. So, okay, yay, 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 I can see myself now. Um, Oh, LaDonia uh, says she's already placed her order. Uh, Tammy, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Now, now hopefully you can see me. I'm behind this. So I was on the other side of the screen. Happy National Scrapbook Day to you too, Jessica. So I'm trying to watch the feed because I'm in here all by myself today and also talk to you a little bit about what's going on and what the deals are at Totally Tiffany. So um, get a pencil, paper, pen, write this down. Scrapbook 30, right? Scrapbook 30. That is what you need to know today because uh, the on the Totally Tiffany website, you are getting, you, most of you probably got an email about this already if you're on our email list, you are getting your regular discount. You are getting a 10% discount on any order over $30. You are getting a 30% off discount when you use that code scrapbook30. Now, really, really important. You can only use that code one time today, one time. So make sure that everything that you want is in the cart before you use that code and hit send because you only get to use it one time. So the 10% on orders over $30, your regular discount, the 10% on orders over $30, the 30% on the whole order when you use scrapbook 30. So it's going to go uh, order minus 10%, whatever that balance is, minus 30%. And then you are also getting triple points, right? So if you are looking for an opportunity to boost your status in Club Inspire, today is the day to do that. So if you have been waiting for a certain product or thinking, oh, I'm not sure if I can afford the scrap rack or the paper cart or some other big ticket item, today is your day to really take advantage of everything that Crafters Companion has to offer. And you know, I wanna say something. When we first started talking about National Scrapbook Day, I um, told the team at Crafters Companion, hey, we've always done a big deal on National Scrapbook Day. And the big part of our big deal on National Scrapbook Day is free shipping on orders over $35, right? So relatively small order, we're gonna ship it to you free. Can we do free shipping? And Meg came back to me and said, we've got something even better. We have got something even better. We're not just going to do a little discount here or a little bundle here or special savings here. We are going to thank the Totally Tiffany uh, crowd for sticking with us. It has been a crazy year. We've had stock issues. Almost everything is back in stock now. I'm going to talk to you about that in just a few minutes too. And we just want to let them know how much we appreciate them sticking out with us. So for one day, for 24 hours, and that ends at nine o'clock Pacific time, midnight Eastern time today. So he who hesitates is lost. We are going to really take great care of the Totally Tiffany um, customers, and we're going to make sure that they're able to get everything that they need that we have in stock. So again, you're getting 10% off order over $30. You're getting 30% off the, the whole order when you use the code scrapbook30. But remember, you can only use it one time. 
right? You can only use it one time. Uh, scrapbook 30, and then you're getting triple points, but it all ends at midnight, all right? I've got a lot of things popping up in the feed, so let me see if there's any quick questions I can answer. Uh, hello, Amy and Julie. Julie says, place my order to, didn't show discounts. Um, Hmm, that's odd. I did some practice orders today because I wanted to make sure that they were that things were working fine. If your order didn't show your discounts, make sure just send an email to customer service. Um, it had to have happened this morning. Like the the discounts didn't start until a couple hours ago, right? So they kicked on this morning. They kick off at midnight. When that email came out this morning, the Totally Tiffany email, that is when the discounts turned on. So if you were a little bit ahead of the game, um, boy, you know what I would suggest. I would suggest canceling the order that didn't have discounts and then replacing the order and making sure you get those discounts. And if for some reason it's not working, I'm going to tell you what we've always done is, um, what did Karen used to call it? When in doubt, check out and then send an email to customer service with your order number saying, Hey, my understanding was if I use the code scrapbook 30, you know, we had the 30, the discount on the day, plus we had the triple points, plus I was getting this. And then make sure you get your order. I am absolutely sure that we are gonna run out of products, some of the products today, some of those popular items. So you definitely want to, oh my goodness, my phone is ringing. Hang on, let me turn that off. It's gonna be so annoying. Oh. All right, sorry, sorry everybody. Again, one of the hazards of doing something doing a live thing in here. I'm going to turn the volume off on this all the way so we don't have that interruption again. All right. Off, off, off. All right. You can't put it back there. I'll never find it again. I'll put it in my pocket. How about that? Okay. When in doubt, check out. That's what I'm going to say. And then make sure you send a note to customer service. And also, anytime we have these big sale days, customer service gets really, really busy, right? There's all kinds of challenges that happen on a giant sale day. So have a little bit of patience with them. I promise you, you will get taken care of. It might take an extra day or two, but um, we are on it. Leanne is on it and we will make sure that you get taken care of. That's our whole point today. This is a great big National Scrapbook Day. Thank you event. And so we do totally appreciate everybody sticking with us through the year. I know it's been a crazy year for everybody and but all our stock well not all the vast majority of things are back in stock which is amazing for a sale like today and then things are going to keep rolling in so let me just take a quick look here hi janice uh julie's gonna say will do thank you julie i appreciate you doing that i know it's kind of a pain but um cheryl what are the dividers with tabs for the scrap rack called they are called um scrap rack dividers and if you click on the if you shop by brand and then scrap rack underneath the scrap rack i think it says pages scrap rack bases and packages and then scrap rack dividers and accessories or something and they'll be on that drop down tab now if you need a lot of dividers you want to go with the 15 pack because it's already got a little bit of a discount on it over buying like three of the five packs and then you're also going to get your special discount today so don't forget that code scrapbook 30 write it down um and then yeah here's the other thing if you have friends who know and you know they need some organization help you, you think maybe a scrap rack or a paper cart is going to be perfect for them give them a call send them a text share the code with them say hey now is your opportunity to get this you know get these things that you need join the get organized challenge tiffany will help you get organized and just share that with them because this is an awesome awesome day with awesome i mean the deal is amazing i was floored when they came back to me and told me what they were going to do for you guys today so really big kudos to crafters companion and the team there for figuring out a really special event for you um but remember it ends at midnight eastern tonight so don't don't hesitate on those things that you know that you want and that you know that you need um today it's it's such a short time um what is the name of the bag for ribbon i think you're talking about edna this one so well edna or merle so this is merle and merle the difference between edna and merle are the ear flaps right i would use edna over merle because there's no reason to have the ear flaps on um when you're working with ribbon right you don't need them for anything your ribbon's not going to drop out the side and that that's just two more pieces of hook and loop fabric Velcro that you don't have to mess with and you don't need it. So uh, you could use Merle or Edna. I, I think uh, Merle is prefer, I prefer Merle for that um, for a, as a ribbon bag. 
Hello, Carol from Oklahoma, Janet from California, uh, LaDonia. Um, where are you from, LaDonia? You have an interesting name. It sounds so, much more interesting than your average American name. Um, tell me where you're from. Uh, Victoria, glad to have you on today. Carol Patterson, as a new customer, what would you suggest I start with? Oh my God, goodness, Carol. Um, boy, it just depends. First thing I would suggest is kind of take inventory of yourself as a scrapbooker. Do you mostly craft at home or do you only craft at home? Do you like to travel with your supplies? And that kind of is a defining factor of, um, you know, what kind of tools you want to use. So hands down, without a doubt, scrap rack is the way to go. If your goal is to actually spend most of your crafting time crafting, because it makes it so simple to find all of your supplies. So scrap rack is a no brainer, regardless of the kind of crafter that you are. And with the discounts today, you, you can't go wrong uh, pricing wise on it. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Like I put a scrap rack in my basket today. This is normally a hundred dollars and the final price on it, including shipping was like $59. So it's, a, it's amazing. It's amazing. Less than 60 bucks. Uh, today's amazing deal on it. paper cart with the top. Absolutely. That's on our website. It's, it is put together as a bundle on our website. Paper cart with the top gives you a place to store your papers and it gives you that extra workspace. The top is magnetic. Um, so if you add our 12 by 12 magnetic sheets to the top, you've got that nice grid platform then. So it's a perfect place to do a double page layout um, right next to each other. So side by side, you can see everything, but because it's not actually on your workspace, you are getting um, a bone, right? You have your workspace to actually make things, make the elements, do all the gluey, messy stuff. And then you put that double page layout on the top of your paper cart with the magnetic sheets and you are good to go. So I would say value for money today, go for your big ticket items, get those things that you have wanted. And you were thinking, Oh, that's a hundred dollars. Or maybe by the time you put your scrap rack kit together, um, you're at like $200. Let's think about it, just that. What, what would that end up costing you? Let's say you start with a scrap rack bundle that was pages, dividers, a single scrap rack base, and you were had it in your cart and it was normally $200. You're going to get 10% off that off the top. That brings it to 180. And then you're going to get 30% off that. That's going to be another uh, $54 if my math is good off the 80. So you're down around $125 for something that was going to be $200 before. So today is the day to really, I, I would say, any of the big ticket items that you've been wanting, today is the day to take advantage of those big ticket items. Mother's Day is next week. This is a perfect treat for Mother's Day. So if you have kids or a husband who are saying to you, what do I need for Mother's Day? You can just call them and say, hey, this is what I need for Mother's Day. Here's the coupon code. Get on there and buy it. Or um, have them just give you their credit card number because you want the triple points, <laughs> right? You don't want them to start their own account if, unless they're crafty. And, um, and then you won't get the triple points in your account. So way to go today is to reach out and say, this is what I want for Mother's Day. I didn't even think about that until just now. So uh, what's on your Mother's Day shopping list? My son, Max, just emailed me yesterday and said, mom, what do you want for Mother's Day? Um, Kathleen Beal says, I'm switching over from travel scrapbooker to at home. Hope to get back to travel again, though. You know, one of the nice things about um, the scrap rack, most of our things in general, not the paper cart so much, is that because the spinders come off of it, because they can go in the notebooks instead of just on the base unit, you can take it with you when you travel, but when you're at home, it's right there. I mean, imagine if you, if for those of you who have a scrap rack, tell us what you think. For people who are on the fence, do I need a scrap rack? Is it going to help me? I want you to think about, so please share your comments in the feed. If you were um, going to sit down and work on a birthday card, a birthday page, if you were going to decorate a champagne bottle that you're giving as a birthday gift or create a birthday tag, to go on something. Or if you're creating party bags or seat decorations, you know, Stephanie Bernard had the cutest um, like pennant uh, uh, dies um, last week or Tuesday, I guess that was this week. If so, if you're creating that pennant and you want birthday things on that pennant, you can come right here to your birthday section and you can see the paper and the embellishment and whatever stamps you have 
and borders and dimensional things and confetti everything for birthday is right here so you can work on that birthday project doesn't matter what it is home decor to scrapbook page you've got everything you need to create that project right here just that simple you're able to see it you're able to take it out you're able to finish up with it and put it right back in so it's great for home it's also great for travel because it folds flat because it goes in those binders so if scrap rack is something that you've been considering again you know maybe you want to watch a couple of videos on it or talk to a couple other gals on the group and see what they think but it really is the best way to streamline your crafting and the easiest way to get the most done. And I want you to think about, um, we all have enough craft supplies to make a birthday card, right? There's, there's no doubt about that. But sometimes we think, oh, I'd love to make so-and-so birthday card, but I'm running out of time. I don't have time to do it. I'm gonna have to find my stickers. I'm gonna have to find my embellishments. I'm gonna have to find my card blank and the envelope and all those pieces. Well, with the scrap rack, all you have to do is go to your, you know, card stash. There's my card. Now I'm just going to start adding elements to it. Boom, pull them out, put them down, stamp your um, sentiment on the inside and you're done that fast. So you need, that is the beauty of working with the scrap rack is that you're not digging and searching. I'm not looking over here for uh, stickers and over here for borders and over here for, you know, confetti to fill my shaker again stephanie had an adorable adorable cloud shaker card the other day so i'm going to tell you something super funny for those of you who don't know stephanie I'm, I, I should say stamps of life stephanie Bernard from stamps of life she's my bestie we are like two peas in a pod her mother almost named her tiffany that is how similar the two of us are but i was working the other day and she was on and i was i was going on to talk about the craft and carry workstation i was going to pop in and and visit with her and, and talk a little bit about that because she just introduced it in pink on her website. We don't have it. It's sold out with us. I guess I probably shouldn't be saying this, but Stephanie does have it in pink and black, I think. Anyway, stamps of life. Anyway, I was only supposed to do that for 15 minutes, right? I had things going on. I was working on some other projects, whatever. And I started watching Stephanie's live and thinking, oh my gosh, I need that pen and thing. I love the cloud um, shaker cloud card. It was so cute. She put little pink sequins in it with a pink and white and I think a light gray. And it was just beautiful and just made me happy. And pretty soon, 30 minutes into just watching Stephanie um, teach about card making, I was like, oh my gosh, I have, to, I have work to do. I can't be doing this. It was hysterical. I just got totally sucked in. I love her energy and I love her design. She does awesome work. Okay. Uh, Kathleen Beal, Beal says, love my scrap racks, have four. Also have binders for each color, alphabet number, and wow, which means words of wisdom. So if you're looking for a place to store your words, that's the place to go. Uh, Kathy Zettler says, I have a scrap rack at home. When I go to a crop, I pull out the themes I'll be using, put it in a spinder binder and take it with me. It's so much easier to scrap when I know where everything is. And I think that that is the biggest benefit to the scrap rack if you're a traveler, right? Because if you're gonna travel to an event, like she said, you don't need everything. You don't need to take everything, but you want to have the confidence of knowing that you have what you need and that it's organized. So if you're gonna go somewhere and work on your summer vacation or your travel things, you're gonna be able to take your travel section right off your base unit. It's just hooked on there with Velcro. You're gonna put it into the spinder binder, which is the three ring binder. We also have a canvas binder. I don't know if those are on the website today or not. I know they were low in stock. So we also have a canvas binder and you're just gonna put that into the binder and now you have all of your travel supplies with you, but you didn't have to go, oh, travel stickers, you know, maybe you have some chipboard, maybe you have some bling or some metal embellishments. Um, what are they called? Eyelets or brads that are travel related, things that would normally not be all together, but because they're in a scrap rack, you've got everything you have for travel right there in one place possibly with the exception of travel paper, if you're a travel paper junkie like me, but I'm gonna be able to take my travel section, I'm gonna grab my travel uh, 12 by 12 paper handler or 12 by 12 fab file, and now I'm gonna be able to get out the door with all my paper and everything I need that goes with that travel theme, do my crafting, wherever it is, come back and put it all away just like that. And that is one of the most amazing things about the scrap rack, I think, that you can take everything and know that you have everything not reorganize anything and then come home and put it away quickly and easily as well. 
If you're unfamiliar with the scrap rack, please take a few minutes and watch a couple of the videos on it. The, the beauty of it is, um, and I'm going to stop talking about it. The beauty of it is it was designed by crafters, myself and a few others, for the way that we actually craft, how we craft at home and how we travel with our crafts. Um, and the whole system was just developed around that. Like what, as crafters, what do we do and how do we do it? All right, I'm going to slide that out of the way. I'm going to bring these ladies over here so I can push this back a bit. Who are these ladies? These are the new girls. Kirsten and Katie. So if you missed the launch of these or the little video I did, biggest question I got about Kirsten and Katie was, how does Kirsten, which is this girl right here, this big girl, how does she shape up or how does she compare to Karen? So both of them are ideal for dies and stamps. They both have pockets with magnets that fit in them. Um, but Karen is five by seven dimensionally and Kirsten is nine by six. So you can see kind of the difference in size there, right? So Karen is, she's been a long, long time favorite, um, probably the favorite for the longest time. Um, Karen is uh, ideal for smaller stamp and die sets. Kirsten is better for larger stamp and die sets. Um, she is gonna work for your slimline dies. So is her little sister, Katie. So here's Katie. So Kirsten and Katie are the two new girls. And Katie also has is tall and skinny. So she's got tall and skinny pockets that work great for your slimline dies, right? And then, so the eight by five magnets fit in the Katie bag. And the eight by five magnets also fit in the Kirsten pockets. Now the Kirsten pockets are nine by six. All of the exact dimensions are on the website. So if you want to know exactly the size, but you can see I've got that eight, eight by five magnet in there and they're still three quarters of an inch off to the side here. So they're real easy to put in and out. But if you have dies that stick off over the edge, um, of that eight by five magnet, it's still fine because there's enough magnetic going on there that you're gonna be able to pull the whole die in and out with that, right? So this is the slimline border It's that's tall, it's extra large, I guess, and it also is gonna fit in the Kirsten bag. So even if your bag is totally full of pockets, you're still gonna have enough height on the side to, for those extra large slimline dies, right? Okay, so Kirsten, and Karen, great for dies and stamps, great for card blanks, full sheet of eight and a half by 11 card that you might have folded in half to make a large card. Let me grab my thing here. Eight and a half by 11 is gonna fit in the Kirsten bag. And then the five by seven card is gonna fit in the Karen bag. So you've got dies and stamps, card blanks, embellishments, anything like that in those dimensions are going to be perfect in either Kirsten or Karen. And then the tall, long, tall girls also are going to fit in the new Katie bag. So a lot of great options there for buddy bags. Let me see what I'm, what I'm missing in the feed here. Um, hello, Kim Beerman. So glad that you're on with us this morning. Awesome to see your name pop up. Um, Yvette says, what handler holds the scrap master pages? The 12 by 12 paper handler holds the scrap master pages as does the paper, as do, I guess, the paper storage boxes, which are A26 is their SKU. And those are the cardboard boxes. You get five of those in a set. <coughs> Also the 12 by 12 fab file will hold the um, scrap master. And if you have the Lisa buddy bag, the Lisa buddy bag will also will hold the scrap master as well. So you're good there. Um, Anita Gaffney, hi from Harrogate, England. Woo woo, all the way across the pond. Patricia's call, logging in from Florida today. Um, good to see you, Patricia, Gina. Nadia, I have one scrap rack and had so much fun organizing the papers. Isn't that fun too? I'm gonna to tell you something else that's really fun about the scrap rack. First of all, getting organized is fun. Um, it's almost like Christmas when you're pulling things out of those boxes and bins and totes and filing them into your scrap rack pages so you can see them. It's like playing with all your supplies, right? You get to see everything, you get to remember it. 
Bing. Oh, you know, I bought this special embellishment. I forgot all about it because it was buried. Now I'm into my scrap rack. I'm going to see it. But when you put your rainbow section together and you start flipping through that rainbow and you see the bling and the brads and the flowers and the tiles and all of those things together, it's just beautiful. I mean, it just makes my heart sing when I just like flipping through the rainbow section, even if I'm not doing anything, it just makes me happy. So, um, it's a great way to get all those things combined, but it also just makes you feel like, oh, look at me. I'm so organized. I can see all my things. So there's just all this goodness that comes from a scrap rack. I know that sounds really goofy, doesn't it? I, I know it's goofy, but it's true. It's true. Um, let's see. What else am I missing here? Uh, Vicki Smith Beer Scott says the scrap rack is genius and so awesome. Thank you, Vicki. I love that. Again, oh, Susan Griffin. She says, I got myself a birthday and a Mother's Day present. Way to go. There's always that, right? Get your own gifts and then just tell your family what they got you. That's a good option. Welcome, Donna. Good to have you on today as well. Okay, what other exciting things do I need to tell you? Um, Go for your big ticket items. Remember, scrapbook 30, that's the code. It's only valid until midnight Eastern time tonight. So that's nine o'clock Pacific time. Um, and you can only use it once. So make sure you have everything you want in your basket. Again, big ticket items. Today is the day to get your hands on those things that you've been waiting for. The paper cart with the... Um, with the metal top is a bundle on our website. Uh, the, the 12 by 12 magnetic sheets with the rulers, if they're still available, awesome addition to your paper cart. Now the paper cart is going to hold five paper handlers, top and bottom, or five paper storage boxes, top and bottom. So a total of 10. So if you've already got paper handlers, those are going to pop right on there, but it also works great with the 12 by 12 fab file, you're going to be able to stand up your paper pads in between your uh, paper storage boxes. It's got those nice dividers in there. That's going to help everything stand, <coughs> excuse me, straight up and down. Okay. What else did I want to tell you though? I wanted to tell you that a few things are back in stock today um, that you definitely don't want to miss the Terry buddy bag. Hi, Terry Wiegan. I hope you're on with us this morning. I saw you some chat earlier with you and Barbara. So maybe you're out there today. So welcome. If you're there, um, Barbara Carlson, I haven't seen your name pop up today either. Yeah. Except for I did see you in the chat with although maybe I just missed it. That's a distinct possibility. Um, but, uh, maybe, but I did see you chatting this morning with Terry. Okay. About your pa the paper junkiness that we all experience. Um, okay. What I want to talk about back in stock, things that you've been waiting for the Teresa buddy bag. I probably don't have them up here because I haven't been talking about them when we've been on air. Here's a Teresa right here two of them actually. Teresa Buddy Bag. Somebody just asked me the other day about re-inkers. So re-inkers, um, glitter glues, anything in those small one inch bottles, one inch round bottles are going to fit in here. Uh, glitter bottles, right? Small bottles of glitter. Those are going to fit in there as well. So the Teresa Buddy Bag back in stock today. She's been MIA for quite a while. So we're super excited to have her. The Terry Buddy Bag. Now Terry holds the longer, thinner markers. I'm scouting over there to see if I have a Terry and I'm pretty sure I do. Let me see. I know I don't have her back here, but I think she's right here. Oh, Terry, my friend, Terry. Yep. Look at that Terry. So the Terry buddy bag right here. Now, Terry and Sara are similar in height. Terry does not have the graduated bottom that the Sara buddy bag has. So if you want the graduated bottom and a little bit more space, then Sara is your girl. Terry is going to work for all your long markers like Tombow, um, Artist Loft, Stephanie Bernard markers are long. They fit in there. Um, and your tri blends are also going to fit in there um, in the Terry buddy bag, but there's no graduated bottom in Terry. So Terry is back in stock. She has been, like I said, MIA for a while. Barbara, funny, Terry Wiegand and Barbara Carlson, who I was just talking to. The Barbara buddy bag, also back in stock. The perfect storage bag for your close to my heart magnetic ink pads. You are going to love Barbara for that. She's a little bit of a bigger girl. She has two boxes on the interior. So roomy, but also think you can stand things up like mists and sprays and that type of thing. So Barbara back in stock also. Um, Sue 
is back. Sue has been MIA as well. So Sue is a great bag for um, stamping up ink pads. That's what she was designed for. She's also going to work for, she's bigger. She's got a lot of space. I know a lot of people love Sue as a distressing kit. They put all their messy distressing things in there. I have a Sue in my car that's an emergency kit. It has like band-aids and aspirin and all that kind of stuff in it because it's the perfect size for all those goodies. And then it's just sealed up and under the seat. Um, who else is back in stock here? Oh, Lois in all four colors. So if you're looking for a new Lois tote, you've been missing the pink bag or you wanted the pink one and we didn't have it. They're all there. For some weird reason, when you shop shop by brand, easy to organize, easy to O is the category that Lois fits in. When you click on that and you start looking at all the products, buddy bags are there as well. For some reason, the pink Lois has wandered off by herself. She's down at the bottom of the page. So just because you don't see her next to the black and turquoise and clear um, and purple Lois totes, she is there. Just look further down the page and you'll be able to find her if that's what you've been looking for. Um, this is also an amazing opportunity for you to try our latest and greatest products, right? If there have been things that kind of on your wish list, um, you can take advantage of all those specials today, but there are the newer things or the storage and supply cases in particular, those back in stock things that you might want to take a quick look at as well. So um, this is the eight drawer storage and supply case. And the eight drawer storage and supply case, dun, dun, dun. now where are the rest of mine here? There's an empty one, I'll show you that. Oh, they're right here. Uh, so these are the storage and supply cases open and on my shelf. So I can just pull out the trays in here and work with them. Now, I wouldn't suggest putting any more than four. I've got one of each design here um, with the pockets on the shelf. I mean, this the interior trays support, they support them so you can pull the trays in and out easily, but they're really not designed for that. It was just sort of a happy accident that I discovered that you could stack them up and and then you could have access to all the drawers when you were working at home. You might want to label the front of the drawers as well. So I'm kind of testing things out here. I've got some heavy stuff in this one and I have it on top of my uh, six drawer so I can kind of see how much weight for how long, but I am working on a little shelving unit to hold these. So that's coming down the pike for you guys as well. But in the meantime, you've got your um, storage and supply cases here. So, Sorry, I get, I'm such a squirrel. I get such, so squirreled out on my Velcro's attaching. Um, I'm off there. So the eight drawer storage and supply case was designed, and I don't know if you can see this clearly in the video camera, but it was designed for your small ink pads, right? And they're a little bit thicker. They're a little bit deeper. So the trays, these are the Stephanie Bernard stamps of life. So you can see the tray is lower than the ink pad. Okay, that gives you that little bit of height in the bag. So when you use this, slide that in there, those ink pads, those ink dots are filling up the space and making the bag fit nice and tight. If you're putting something in there that's thinner and flatter, paint brushes, Okay, they're not coming all the way to the top. They're not filling up the bag, but that, so that gives you some extra space behind there. So dot to dot book, paint by numbers book, whatever it is, you can put it in there and that is going to push those drawers up against the top of the bag. So the things in the individual drawers don't come out of the drawers, right? So if you're putting small things in there, Things unlike these, like it was designed for this depth of thing. That's where how you get that push against the top of the bag. Just use that back of the bag for storing your drawing paper or your coloring book or whatever it is. And that'll get that depth of tray right up against the front, which is where you want to have it um, for this particular thing. One of the questions that I've been asked about this new bag is... How do you get the trays in? They don't seem to stay in or they pop out as you're loading it. So once you we make things a little bit tight when we do the vinyl bags because vinyl stretches, right? So when you first load up your, let me see if I can do it with this one because it's empty. When you first load up your eight drawer storage and supply case, um, yeah, I might've had these in, let's see. You might sort of experience, let's see if I can do it here. I think 
I'm going to put this in. No. So you might experience that the drawers kind of pop out of place, right? It just, you just need to get them in there, get the vinyl stretched out. This one's not even loaded and the drawers don't pop around anymore, but it is helpful once you have the weight in there um, and then everything sort of settles into place, then they won't pop around anymore. The little drawers, forgive me for this, I know they're hard to put together because they are so small and you have to push those tabs in. So, but they're gonna be nice and tight. They're gonna fit perfectly. And once you put them together, you never have to take them apart. So keep that in mind as you're trying to put those little tabs together. But the eight drawer storage and supply case, super easy to use and a great way, the small Tim Holtz inks are gonna fit in there as well. The square Tim Holtz Distress inks are gonna fit in there. Also, like I said, daubers, I've got daubers and life-changing brushes. And then in the back of this, I have a bunch of um, just scratch paper that I use that I could, that's like just, I can put it down and then stamp on top, you know, put my stamping project on top of it or my stenciling project. So when I'm rubbing it, I can rub off the edges um, and not have to worry about it. So that's how I filled the back of this because again, these are really shallow items and it's the bag is designed for a little bit thicker item. So just maximize the space in your bag by adding paper or other things to that back side. Now, when you put them in the back side, I should be clear on this as well. That what's well, going to be easier than this. <clears throat> the eight drawer storage and supply case, like all the storage and supply cases, has this liner tray, right? So there's this, there's the liner tray in there, and that's the tray. That, that's why these slide in and out so easily. So you want to put that paper, that coloring book, whatever it is, between the tray and the vinyl bag, not between the tray and the drawers, because then your drawers are gonna get hung up on the paper when you pull them in and out or hung up on the book, right? So the book should go between the vinyl and the tray, not between the tray and the drawers. All right. Okay, so that is the new eight drawer storage and supply case. If you search storage and supply, or if you go to the storage and supply case list, um, you will see all of them. There are a couple of bundles already on the website of storage and supply case goodies. So if you're looking for those, now is a great time to do that as well. The new paper, Paper taker, which is going to hold your eight and a half by 11 or a four paper um, is all available. Again, this is a great time to really check out those newer products, things that you were thinking, oh, I'm not sure if that's really going to work for me, or I'd like to have that, but I'm not sure that I want to spend the money. Remember today, you're getting 10% off that whole order. Plus, if you use the code, write it down, scrapbook 30, um, you're going to get, so you're going to get 10% off the whole order. Then when you use that code, you're going to get an additional 30% off the order and you are going to get triple points. Woo -woo. You can't go wrong there. Boom. That is a savings day, right? Joe Rembrandt from Crafters Companion. I just want to say, boom, what we're doing today, saving big money. And I'm telling you something else. The idea of telling your kids, your family, hey, what I want for Mother's Day is on a great value today, Crafters Companion. It's a perfect way to get exactly what you want, right? It's a perfect way to get exactly what you want. All right, let's see. What else have I got here going on? All right. Uh, Nadia's from St. Louis. Excellent. Glad, glad you're joining us today. All right, what else can I tell you? Lots of things are back in stock. Today's the day to get your paper cart and get it all dolled up. Get the apron, get the top, get the magnetic design tool that goes on top of it. Get your die file. This is a day for die file, right? So die file is normally $109. You're gonna save that 10%. That knocks it down to 100. Then you're gonna save 30. That's gonna knock it down to $70. So, and triple points. So look for those things that you really want, that you really need, and maybe you've been waiting because it wasn't right for your budget. And today is the day to take advantage of that and just really get that super deal. Okay, it doesn't look like I have any more questions popping up. So, um, I think that's it. I might check back in later this afternoon. I'm gonna head into Phoenix with my girlfriend, Franny, who's here visiting. We're gonna hit a couple of scrapbook stores, paper crafting stores in the Phoenix area today. That's our celebration of crafting. The little town that I live in doesn't have anything crafty going on. So we're gonna go out and find some wonderful um, deals at some crafty stores today. But I wanna hear what you're doing. 
right? So throw up some posts on Facebook, on our Facebook page and the Get Organized Challenge group, whatever you're working on today, tell me what you're doing to celebrate National Scrapbook Day. I can't wait to see the projects and stuff that you all are working on today as well. So thanks so much everybody for tuning in. It's been wonderful to chat with you this morning. And like I said, I'll pop back on a little bit later in the day and remind you, um, don't waste this opportunity, Scrapbook 30. So just one last time, what are you getting today at totallytiffany.com? You're getting an automatic 10% off your order. That's gonna just automatically populate in your basket. You're saving 30% on your order on top of that 10 when you use the code scrapbook30 and you are getting triple points, right? So if you're trying to push to that next level and you know every level in Club Inspire, you get better and better benefits, today is the day where you could really make some progress on your points for Club Inspire. If you're unfamiliar with Club Inspire, when you get to the Totally Tiffany website, click on the info tab, sign up for Club Inspire, get started today on um, adding the, uh, accumulating those points because the value just keeps going on and on. There's all kinds of specials that always happen for Club Inspire um, uh, members, so you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. All right, everybody. I think that's it for me today. I'm so happy to have all of you on board and watching and please share with your friend, your crafty friends, what's happening today at Totally Tiffany and in scrapbooking in general, there's deals and steals all over the place. So make this your day to really get the best value that you can. But what you need, I'm going to give you the mom lecture now is organization. Last thing you want to do is bring in a bunch of products into your home, into your craft room and then lose them and not be able to actually use them because you couldn't find them. So get organized, craft more often, have more fun, invite other people into craft with you because you'll be so excited about your hobby. All right, everybody, that's it for me today. Have a great rest of your day. Be a super scrapper today and get a lot done. I'll talk to you soon.